Welcome back to the Clark family adventures in Mount Komorebi. Um, right now, Anya is working on the extreme sports aspiration. And you will see me fumble around quite a bit trying to figure out how to make this work. So that's exciting. She had to buy some supplies and check the board, which are things that we've done in the past. Also, I don't know why the Sims are so sad. They're sad all the time. Like, no matter what they do, they're sad. They're sad the whole vacation. I don't know what kind of vacation makes you sad the whole time, but they're sad. Look at the way she walks with her head down. <laughs> anyway, uh, she is working on the bunny slope, and that completed the first part of the aspiration. Now she's got to hike, rock climb, and then actively do an extreme sport for three hours and encounter a forest spirit. So I was trying to make her, I think it was snowboard uh, with everyone for a couple hours. I was hoping that that would satisfy one of those, but it did not. So I sent her over to the rock climbing area, practice area and had her work on her rock climbing before she was immediately injured, but I was pretty sure she wasn't going to die on this practice one. I cannot confirm whether that is true, but I took a gamble. It was fine. She lived. Also, it's Akira's birthday. And I wasn't really paying attention to Callie or Akira pretty much this entire video, um, except to make sure they were okay, because then I was realizing they were very hungry. And I don't want them to die. I probably um, should have sent them home or something. But I did that. Uh, sent the whole family back to the rental. And cooked a cake for Akira's birthday. So that was exciting. I also had Anya get some adventure gear so that she could rock climb better. Wanted to get that skill up. Also still sad, everyone's sad. And I don't know what happened here. I could not get Callie to use the stove. So I was trying to, you know, move things around, figure out what was going on. I spun the stove around, I moved the windows, I moved the lights, and honestly, in the end, I have no idea what did it. She just somehow was able to use it again. So I'm not really sure what happened there. We're just going to accept it. It took several tries. She still didn't want to. So, you know, I just did my best. I guess it could have been the lights. I'm really not sure. But uh, she cooked a cake for Akira's birthday. And we were going to have Akira blow out the candles. However, I guess there's a bug right now. And I did experience it along with several other bugs. Um, but that's a story for potentially later in this video. This bug is that they can only age up if they blow out the candles outside. So I... I thought that maybe he had to be outside, but then I realized the whole cake had to be outside. So he's able to blow out the cake outside, and there is Akira as an elder. It's really actually sad that Akira and Callie are getting older. It feels like we've been with them for so long. But uh, still that problem where time keeps moving, even though we're trying to travel. So yeah, here the family is in their hiking location. Um, Anya's aspiration wants her to complete a hike. And unfortunately, um, well, it wants her to complete a hike and encounter a forest spirit. So she's hiking by herself at first here. And she's just taken, you know, the way around. We do not see any forest spirits. 
on this hike. Although she does visit a new place that we haven't visited before. So that's good. Um, and also, you know, they're working more on their lifestyles. Anya has like an outdoors, energetic lifestyle that she's working on. So then I have her hike back, still hoping she'll see a spirit. Does not happen. But that's okay. We'll catch him next time. I was trying to see in the description whether or not they only appeared in certain times or locations, but it just kind of said in the more isolated areas. So Anya makes her way back. Then I send her on a hike with her parents, which is the beginning of the end of this kind of family dynamic. So they go on a hike and, you know, we have to stop the hike in order for her to go near the spirits. But I guess because we stopped the hike, that meant the hike went poorly. And so now everyone is mad at each other because of the bad hike. I mean, Akira's mad. He said he should have stayed home. They all have bitter sentiments towards each other. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I like the sentiments except for the part where they are going to be over dramatic about stuff. So like, now they're all mad at each other and now every time they try and talk to each other, it doesn't go well. Um, I mean, at first it's okay, but then, you know, Akira and Anya have a great relationship and it really has actually been kind of bad for their relationship. You can see their relationship going down. I'm trying to, you know, get them to make up with each other, but it just keeps going down because they're so angry at each other because of the sentiments. And they're, you know, not happy about being near each other. And it's really disappointing actually because they had a great family dynamic, really. One hike, one time you go hiking is gonna ruin this family. So I think in that way, the sentiments are a little too strong. So you can see here, you know, festering grudge and hurt. I mean, like, really? They had a bad hike, and now they're mean to each other, and now they're mad at each other, and it's just... I don't know. Anyway, that's my soapbox. Um, now, Anya just needs to get to level 3 of the rock climbing skill before she can, you know, level up in her aspiration. So there's that. She's actually not particularly good at rock climbing. She seems to fall almost every time. But she works hard at it. The only thing is, you know, I say continuously do it, but she keeps stopping every time she falls down or something. I don't really remember, but um, I wish continuously would really make it go continuously until they couldn't anymore. But that's fine. I'll keep checking up on them. Uh, also, I extended the vacation because I wanted to work on the extreme sports aspiration side of things for a while. Um, I do, I do like Mount Komorebi, and I think it would be fun to have Sims live there. I haven't checked yet whether you can go there, even if you don't, like, aren't on vacation and don't live there. I'm not 100% sure yet. I mean, I'm thinking why not, because it is just another residential neighborhood, but, you know, Anya is so into this stuff that she'll definitely come back even though she's very sad. And Akira is sad. Everyone's sad and in their bathing suits. So now they're going home. And it's weird because we just came from the snowy place and now it's very sunny, but I guess that's what happens when you come down from a mountain. 
So what I did was I purchased Anya some skill books because she's really not good at any of the extreme sports skills. So I figured she should read up on them. She's a very, you know, good student from her childhood and she should read up on these sports and kind of learn a lot for them in order to be good at them. And yes, everyone's still angry about the hike. So we have Anya reading books to get to level three. And I figured, you know, I was just going to level up a few of her skills while I'm here. Have her, you know, learn them so that she can get on those slopes and so that I don't worry about her dying while rock climbing. That was definitely a concern. I was really worried the whole time she was rock climbing <laughs> that she was going to die. So I kept saving, kept making sure. And, um, you know, it's just important that we don't lose our only heir. Maybe if she had a sibling, it wouldn't be as big a deal, but it is a big deal right now. So I just have Callie making books. In a minute, we're going to buy Akira an easel. And, um, you know, just so that they can have something to do while uh, Anya works on her sports skills. Well, Anya does her research, I guess, on her sports skills. And also, you know, Anya is only like four or five days away from becoming a ad young adult. So, I mean, she spent her whole teenagehood here. Which, I mean, I guess is a pretty sweet deal to spend your, your whole teenage years on vacation. But um, I don't even know if she's ever been to school as a teenager. And so uh, Callie is aging up. Oh, I remember what happened. I, um, I cut the video for... You know, we're, we weren't just going to watch Anya read books for 30 minutes. So, I just wanted to show you that Callie also aged up. Now Callie and Akira are elders. And, you know, Anya is on the cusp of adulthood. And she's still fighting with her parents over that hike. So, Anya is now going to do sports. More sports, more skiing, more snowboarding, more rock climbing. Uh, her aspiration now wants her to do high intensity skiing or snowboarding and also to go to the peak of Mount Komorebi and also to get injured, which I don't know how I feel about, you know, the aspiration being completed by her getting injured. But uh, also she fell down there and that did not count as injured. So I guess what you need is the injured moodlet. So I was just checking on Callie and Akira. Of course the paparazzi are following Callie. And Anya is still working on her sports. That's really... Um, you know, I think that just working on the sports and the skills isn't so exciting. Um, I do like this pack and I like the gameplay and I like that they're able to have a good time together and do these fun things together. But I think that, you know, doing this aspiration kind of turned into a, let's just work on, you know, their skills for hours and hours and then hope that some of these randomly spawned events happen. So that, I guess, is my only complaint on the aspiration, is I felt like, you know, Anya could have just read for a couple days and then just do the same thing over and over and over again until she, you know, succeeds in this aspiration. Like, you know, get injured. So, okay, she just skis until she gets injured. So, I, I mean, I think it's good for exploring some of the skills, but I'm not so sure that the aspiration itself, as a goal, was necessarily one for fun gameplay. I think that this pack is definitely more for storytelling and enjoying vacations with your family. 
Also, Callie and Akira almost froze to death because they were in their bathing suits outside. I was double checking that I had the disable temperature effects on Sims, but I guess if they are out in the snow in their bathing suits, it counts. Not really sure why that happens, but anyway, we are sending them back because I didn't want to deal with them. Uh, they got to, you know, relax in the hot spring and then they went home. And Anya just focused on her activities. It was kind of hard to follow her down the slope, but it was cool seeing her do some of the tricks. So I sent her to rock climb this wall over here. Honestly, I had to Google how to climb the mountain because I could not figure it out. I was looking all over the place for this mountain and it just was not happening, wasn't there. Couldn't tell you where it was. So I just had Anya working on her rock climbing until she got injured, which actually is really easy when they go rock climbing. And as it turns out, in order to climb the mountain, you need to have a social gathering. And also, you can't do it with one sim, which was concerning because, you know, both of Anya's parents are elderly. So I invited a bunch of randos that Anya had met. I don't even know when she met them, but here they are. And then, you know, cue me trying to find a board. But it actually wasn't a board. It was the map marker, and that was my mistake. But while I was looking for it, I did find out that there are hiking excursions here at the top of the mountain. And I didn't even know that. I thought that that middle area was where all the hiking took place. But that's not true. It's here, too. Which is actually really exciting because then you can really go to one place and get a lot of stuff done, even though it's cold. So, yeah, I spent way too long trying to figure that out uh, and then decided I was going to skip it for now and have, you know, do the other things like checking in on everybody's preparedness, doing some warm-ups. But as it turns out, because I invited sims that are not controlled by me, they just went straight to the place so I could just follow them and then they showed me exactly where to go. So pro tip, if you're going to climb the mountain, climb it with sims that you are not, that are not in your household so that you can, uh, they'll tell you where to go. Of course, immediately at the beginning of our vacation, not vacation, but um, excursion, Anya fell got hurt, got really hurt when she continued to try. And I'm like, we are not stopping this. So I teleported her to the top of that rock wall because we were not going to fail this because she messed up at the very beginning. So I just watched where the other Sims went and Anya took a rest so that she could relax and make sure that she was all good. Also, um, you know, she needed to inspect the climbing route, and it, you know, isn't looking too good here. It's dark and it's windy. So I saved because I was scared that Anya was going to die. Look how uncomfortable she is. So I had her build a snow pal until she was comfortable again. And then had her climb up because, you know, she's got rock climbing level 8 now. So she should be fine to do this. So I don't know why she was having such a hard time. So they went off to the next thing and I realized that I did not pack any food. So that's too bad. Nobody's eating. And I didn't realize that you didn't have to do all the things to get silver. You just had to do the, the next thing, get to the next place. So that was good. Um, I also didn't know how to have a sim climb courageously. That was not an option, so I just skipped that. Sent everyone over here. You have to go there together. 
Everyone has to show up around the marker. You can't just you can't just be at the marker. Um, and Anya found a forest spirit, so she collected it. And everyone is gathering here, and I'm really concerned about them because they're not wearing winter clothes. And then the lottery started, and I thought that that messed up my excursion. But as it turns out, this is, in fact, the top of the mountain. So there it is. And it's actually kind of scary to look down from that because you can't really see anything. And then they all got this nice sentiment towards each other where they climb the mountain together and they're, you know, BFFs now. So that fulfilled that part of her aspiration. And then I had her and this other girl that's also a teen that went with them go back to the hot spring just to hang out. You know, she needs some friends because she's fighting with her parents and, you know, people need friends anyway. Although I think that now that she's close-knit, uh, she gets uncomfortable trying to make new friends. It's a lot for her to handle. But, um, so this is where we got to the last part of this. And actually, I did not complete the aspiration because, like I said earlier, I wasn't interested in just having her hike until she got attacked by something three times. Um, that's not exciting for me. And I realized that she has literally never been to school, but that's okay. She also got well-traveled as a lifestyle because she has been on vacation for a really long time. So she is going hiking with this girl, and um, it does not go particularly well because this girl is in shorts, and she did not get attacked by anything. Her high-intensity snowboarding did not do anything, and I just was getting kind of bored at this point, and this girl was freezing to death. So I tried to get her to, to change her outfit, but she would not change her outfit so Anya had to leave or this girl was gonna die like she gets a good reputation and then she lets someone die in front of her because this girl won't put on a jacket so instead Anya goes home and that is actually the end of our vacation because it is going to be Anya's birthday soon and sure she'll come back and she'll go on vacation again but for right now, she's moving on with her life. She's going home. And the next episode of this is going to be all about saying goodbye to Callie before Anya becomes a young adult. So we will catch you next time.